Hey guys, in this video, I'm very glad to share with you how to import MySQL database using command line. In details, uh, I will share with you how to import uh, MySQL database uh, from a SQL file using a MySQL program in a command line and import uh, how to import inside MySQL command line client program and how to import data to a remote MySQL database server. First, uh, we need to uh, open the installation directory of my SQL Server on the computer. Here on my Windows computer, I have my SQL database server installed in this directory here. And inside the bin directory, you can see there are various command line programs which we can use. And in this video, I will show you how to use the my SQL uh, command line client program. Uh, MySQL here to import the database uh, from uh, SQL files and uh, let's uh, open a new uh, command prompt here and change the current directory to uh, this bin directory of uh, MySQL database server installation Okay, and type the command MySQL. Okay, now uh, let's uh, connect uh, to the MySQL database server on localhost using this uh, parameters dash u and specify the username and dash p to uh, provide password later in the command prompt here and type the password. Okay, I have been uh, connected to my SQL database server on localhost. Type the status command, and you can see uh, the my SQL command like client program uh, connected to my localhost, my SQL database server via TCP IP here. Now I'm going to show you how to import uh, SQL file into a MySQL database server using the MySQL command in the command line on my computer I have a couple of uh, SQL dump files here you see contact db dump and submit db dump and now I want to import this SQL file contact db dump into a localhost MySQL database server and in the MySQL command line in client program, type this command show databases to see all the databases available in the database here. And first, we need to create a new database uh, to import as a SQL file here. So I type this command create database contact db to create a new database okay okay and shows databases again and you can see there's a new database a contact db got created here and let's use that database use contact db and show the tables and you see currently there's no tables in this uh, contact db database and now let's open another command uh, from Windows and change the current directory to the bin directory of the uh, MySQL database server installation here. Uh, so we can access the MySQL uh, program. And I change the command prompt to this character so you can see the whole command line better. Okay, now to import uh, a SQL file into the MySQL database server on local host, type this command my SQL u and the username dash p uh, to enter password letter, then the database name, which is the uh, name of the database I have created so far, the contact db. And then uh, the import uh, sign or the uh, less than character here, and then the path 
uh, to the SQL file which is in this directory D drive uh, dumps here D dumps and the file name is contact db underscore dump dot uh, SQL hit enter and provide the password done it mm, you can see it completes silently that means the command has been su uh, successfully executed and you can check verify the result in the MySQL uh, command line client program here uh, tie the command show tables again and you can see a new table contact appears here it was imported from the SQL file and we see you can see it in a structure and select all rows from this table you see next I'm going to show you how to import a SQL file a directory in the MySQL command line client program here uh, now I want to import this database uh, shop me db here in this SQL file and in uh, MySQL command line client I need to show all the databases and create a new database create database shop me db and then we can uh, use this command in MySQL command line client source and then the path uh, to the uh, SQL file shop me db underscore dump dot the SQL but before that you need to use the current directory is the newly created uh, database use shop me db here and then tie this command short and then the path to the SQL file dumps and shop me db underscore dump dot SQL okay and hit enter now we can verify you can see query ok uh, 23 rows affected here and we can verify by tie the command show tables and you can see various tables uh, have been imported here and you can select data from a table um, for example from the table users you see perfect right so it's very convenient to uh, import a SQL file directory in the MySQL command line uh, client program so you can uh, create a database check the database names and verify the import result directory in the command line client program now I'm going to show you how to import a SQL file to a remote MySQL database server so first we need to connect to the remote uh, MySQL database server so use this command MySQL that's you and the username of a user in the remote MySQL database server mm. uh, and then dash p to provide password letter and dash uh, h uh, for the uh, host name or IP arrest of the remote MySQL database server here I use the IP arrest is the 192.168.1.3 is the IP arrest of the remote MySQL database server and optionally you can specify the port number and the protocol port number dash uppercase p2306 and double dash is uh, protocol is tcp and enter the password okay I have connected to the remote MySQL create database server and as you can notice uh, the server version is 8.0.15 which is newer than the server on localhost uh, 5.7 here and I 
use this command status to see the status and you can see this client program connected to the server at this IP address uh, via TCP IP now in the MySQL command line client program we can use the source command uh, to import a SQL file but uh, before that we need to check the databases in the remote in the database server here and create a new one create database contact db and then type this command search uh, and the path uh, to the uh, sql dump file which is contact db underscore dump dot sql here and hit enter okay and we can uh, use that db use contact db so the tables and you can see we have only uh, one table contact here and select all row from that uh, table note that uh, this is uh, in the remote MySQL database server so that's uh, very simple. First, you need to connect uh, to the remote MySQL server using this command. Uh, and then uh, you will create a new database here. Create a new database here. And then uh, type the command source uh, to import a SQL file. Yeah, that's it. So that you have learned how to import the data from a SQL file to MySQL database server using MySQL program in command line or inside the MySQL command line client program or uh, and uh, also how to import data to a remote MySQL server. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe and then like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.